like to do is show you guys um, our last logarithmic property. And what our logarithmic property here states is that whenever I have a, a value or number in my, as my exponent, what I can do is I can relate that in front of my log and multiply across when I value that log. So let's take a look at a problem and see if this actually works in you know, real life with real numbers. So I could say um, <clears throat> 2 rate our log base 2 of 4 squared. Well, we know 4 squared is 16, right? So this is giving me log base 2 of 16. Well, 2 raised or two raised to what number gives you 16? So if I was to evaluate this log, I know my answer would be 4, right? Because 2 raised to the 4th power gives me 16. Now, if I was about to follow my little method here, I would take this exponent and I'd put it in front of my log. So I'd have 2 times 2 um, to the 4. Well, what number 2 raised to what power gives you 4? That's 2, right? So therefore, I have 2 times 2, which equals 4. So you guys can see with real numbers, this works. So just apply it with the rest of these. If I have my exponent is 2, I can rewrite it as log or 2 log x. Here, even though it's a fraction, still write that fraction in front. 3 fifths log of x. And over here, I know my base is e. Remember, this is what we call natural logarithm, where you're going to have a base e. Here, my base was 10, but remember, when you don't have a base, you don't have to write in what the base is. I'm sorry. For a logarithm, if I don't present a base, you can assume the base is 10. Natural logarithm are, per, are introduced to show us bases when we have a base e. So now I'm going to bring my e in front, so I have e natural log of 3. And that's how you use um, our properties when having, or our properties of logarithms when you have an exponent.